Praise the living Jesus. My name is Ariel Laure Olua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry, and this is Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network is an online prayer ministry where we fellowship together online to seek the face of the Almighty God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ with the help of Holy Spirit. Coming live from Lagos State, Nigeria, I know that as you join us today, as we fellowship together, as we pray together, to seek the face of the Almighty God, the Lord will arise and intervene on that matter. According to Luke 21, verse 13, we say, He shall turn to you for a testimony. That matter, that marital matter, that financial matter, that emotional matter, that matter concerning your business, concerning your career, concerning your health, concerning your loved one, it shall turn to you today for a testimony in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, ma. One more time. That that matter, this very day, the Lord will turn it to you for a testimony in the name of Jesus. So why not sit down, get ready for a defined encounter, for a life transforming testimony? You are welcome, Jesus' name. Lift up our hand and let's appreciate our Lord, our God. Let's bless His holy name. Let's give Him thanks. Let's give Him praise. Our Lord is good. The Bible says, For His mercy endured forever. Our Lord is good. For His mercy endured forever. I want you to lift up your hand and bless His holy name. I want you to lift up your hand and give Him praise. Give Him honor. Let's bless the name of our Lord our God today. Let's lift up our hand and worship Him. Let's lift up our hand and adore Him. Let's lift up our hand and say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for this new day. Thank you for today, the very first Sunday this year. Why not lift up your hand and give Him all the praise. Give Him all the honor. Give Him all the adoration. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. We say thank you. The psalmist said, enter into his gate with thanksgiving. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving. Let's lift up our hand and appreciate our Lord, our God, who brought us, who allowed us to see last year. Amen. And today, we are here in the very first Sunday, the first, Jan the first month of this year, the very first Sunday this year. I want you to lift up a hand and bless his holy name. I want you to lift up your hand and worship him. I want you to lift up your hand and give him praise. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my home. Thank you for my marriage. Thank you for my business. Thank you for my career. Father, we give you all the praise. We worship you. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hand and worship him. Lift up your hand and appreciate him. Lift up your hand and give him all the praise, all the honor, all adoration is worthy to be praised. Our Lord is worthy to be praised. My Lord, my God, your Lord, your God is worthy to be praised. Why not just lift up your hand and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for allowing us to see the beginning of another year. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we give you praise. 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 Lift up your hand and worship him. Lift up your hand and appreciate him. Lift up your hand and celebrate God. Appreciate him. Enter into his call this morning. Enter into his presence this morning. With voice of thanksgiving. 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 Let's appreciate him. Our Lord is good. Our Lord is good. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. I want you to lift up your hand 
and say, Father, as I have come before you today, so I declare, I declare, open heaven upon myself, open heaven upon my life, open heaven upon my marriage, open heaven upon my business. So, Lord, as I have come before you today, let the heavens upon me, let it open in the name of Jesus. Heavens upon my life, heavens upon my home, heavens upon my marriage, heavens upon my business, heavens upon my career. Say, Father, let it open. Let it open. Let it open. I decree, I declare, open heaven upon my life, open heaven upon my home, open heaven upon my marriage, open heaven upon my business, open heaven upon my career. Decree and declare open heaven. Let heaven open upon you. In the name of Jesus. Heavens of ease. Let it open upon you. In the name of Jesus. Heavens of revelation. Let it open upon you. In the name of Jesus. Heavens of divine encounter. Decree and declare. Let it open upon you. In the name of Jesus. Say I decree, I declare open heaven. Open heaven. Open heaven. Open heaven. Open heaven. Let heaven open upon you this very day, this very month, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Our Lord, our God, I want to say thank you for today. Thank you for the past years. Thank you for last year. Thank you for all that you have done for us. Thank you for all that you have done in us. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all adoration. My Lord, my God, as you come before you today, I ask, that the heavens open upon us in the name of Jesus. Heavens of revelation, heavens of God's wonder. Father, let it open upon us in the name of Jesus. Today, my Lord, my God, beyond our prayer, beyond our thinking, beyond our imagination, Lord, arise, O Lord, visit us. Reveal yourself to us today in the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself to us in our marriage. Reveal yourself in our business. Reveal yourself in our career. Reveal yourself in our ways. Reveal yourself in everything that concerns us, my Lord, my God, this day. Reveal yourself in the name of Jesus. And at the end of today, all glory, all honor, all adoration to your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Once again, I welcome every one of us to today. Sunday service. Today is Sunday, the very first Sunday this year. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Those of you that are joining us on uh, Facebook, those of you that are joining us on YouTube, amen. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. My name is Areola Orelua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry, and this is Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Happy New Year to every one of us. If today is the first day that we are meeting, Happy New Year. It's going to be a year of testimony, a year of fulfillment, a year of wonders in the name of Jesus. I can't hear your amen. I said this very year, it shall be unto you a year of wonder, a year of testimony, a year of increase, a year of avalanche of testimony in the name of Jesus. This very year, the Lord will perfect everything that concerns you in the name of Jesus. I'm not hearing your amen. That my sister, I don't like your, the way you say amen. I want the amen to carry strength. I said this very year, the Lord God will perfect everything that concerns you in the name of Jesus. This very year, the Lord God will perfect everything that concerns you in the name of Jesus. This very year, everything that concerns your home, Everything that concerns your marriage, everything that concerns your business, everything that concerns your career, the Lord will bring perfection in the name of Jesus. Every one of you that you are believing God for marital settlement, the Lord will say to you this year in the name of Jesus. I said this very year, every one of you that you are believing God for marital settlement, this very year, the Lord will say to you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will say to you, the Lord will say to you, the Lord will say to you, the Lord will say to you. Every one of you that you are believing God for children, fruit of the womb, this very year. The Bible says, and the Lord God remember Rachel, and the Lord God opened her womb, and she conceived. 
this very year, every one of you that you are believing God for fruit of the womb, the Lord will remember you in the name of Jesus. If you open your womb, there shall be fruitfulness in your life in the name of Jesus. Every one of you that you are believing God for divine healing, hear me, sir, hear me, man. This very year, I decree, I declare, as the Lord leave it, the hand of God for divine healing, the hand of God for divine healing shall rest upon you in the name of Jesus. I can hear your amen. I said this very year, the hand of the Almighty God for divine healing shall rest upon you in the name of Jesus. The hand of God for healing will rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Every one of you that you are believing God for job, a new job, a better job, either a new job or a better job, or you are believing God for promotion in the correct one. This very year shall be a year of testimony in the name of Jesus. Doors of opportunity will open. Doors of promotion will open. Doors of promotion will open. Doors of opportunity will open in the name of Jesus. And every one of you who are into sales, you have goods that you are you sell. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. I decree, I declare this very year the Lord will bring you profitable sales in the name of Jesus. You are not saying amen very well. Do you want me to stop? You want me to stop? Okay, if you don't want me to stop, I want you to say louder amen. I said this very year, concerning your goods, the Lord will bring you a profitable sales in the name of Jesus. Profitable sales. Profitable sales. Profitable sales. Profitable sales. Profitable sales. Profitable sales. In the name of Jesus. And every one of you that you are into service, you don't sell goods, but you render service. You don't sell goods, but you render service. Professional people, career people, this very year, the favor of the Almighty God will rest upon you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will favor you. He will favor your work. The Lord will favor you. He will favor your work. The Lord will favor you. He will favor your work. The Lord will favor you. He will favor your work. The Lord will favor you. He will favor your work. The Lord will favor you. He will favor your work. In the name of Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. I can hear you. I want you to say thank you, Jesus. And all our children, the hand of the Almighty God for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding shall rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Among their colleagues, among their colleagues, the Lord will make them the head and not the tail in the name of Jesus. They will excel in the name of Jesus. In their education, our children this year will excel. In their career, this year, our children will excel in the name of Jesus. So shall he be. And all our parents, the grace, the resources, the resources you need to take care of us, your children, the Lord will provide them for you in the name of Jesus. All our parents, our fathers, our mothers, I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. What you need, the wisdom, the grace, the enablement, the resources that you need to be a good parent, to be a good father, to be a good mother, to your children. May the Lord God release them unto you in the name of Jesus and all our aged parents. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. There is nowhere in the Bible where the Lord God mentioned old age sickness. Old age sickness. Old age sickness. The Bible talk about Moses. Moses was Moses was 120 years. More than 120 years. Over 120 years. Because he spent the very first 40 years in the palace. Then the next 40 years, which is the man that now becomes his father-in-law. Then he now spent another 40 years journey with the children of Israel in the wilderness. The first 40, the second 40, the third 40, making 120 years. 120 years, Moses did not use glasses. 120 years, they did not carry him to and fro. 120 years. Moses was not in and out of hospital. 120 years. This man can still climb one of the highest mountains in the world. Not just a story building. Not just two story building. 120 years. He can still go on dry fasting. 40 days and 40 nights. Without water, without drink. 40 days and 49 fasting and he can still climb mountain without anybody supporting him, without him falling down, without his eyes failing him, 
without his strength failing him, without uh, rheumatism, arthritis, whatever you call him. I decree, I declare, all our age parents, all our age parents, it is a good thing to be old, to grow old, because you'll be able to see your children, children, children. I pray for all our age parents. Whatever they call old age sickness shall be far away from you in the name of Jesus. Your sick, your earth will not fail you. Your earth will not fail you. Your eyes will not fail you. Your leg will not fail you. Your strength will not fail you. In the name of Jesus. Your earth will not fail you. In the name of Jesus. The hand of the Almighty God will rest upon you. Every home that you are watching, every home where you are watching right now, every marriage where you are logging from right now, every those of you that you are watching from business place, I decree, I declare, in that your house, let the peace of God reign in the name of Jesus. From that home where you are watching me from, I decree, I declare, the peace of God, let it reign in the name of Jesus. Let the peace of God reign. 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 Let the peace of God reign upon that home, the peace of God, upon that marriage, the peace of God, upon all your family members, the peace of God upon you this year in the name of Jesus. I speak to every members of Pray New Goods Network all over the world. Every one of you that you that you are members of Pray New Goods Network, every one of you that you follow this ministry, every one of you that you join us for prayer concerning you and your loved one. I declare, I declare, this year shall be unto you year of peace in the name of Jesus. The Bible said, with only your eyes shall you see evil. Only with your eyes. That means it will not come near you. I decree, I declare, every member of Praying Goods Network all over the world this year, the Lord will protect us in the name of Jesus. Whatever the crisis that may happen this year, whatever the problem that may happen this year, Whatever the economic crisis, weather crisis, whatever it is, whatever problem that may come this year concerning every one of us, he has done it before. During the era of COVID-19, the Lord preserved every member of this ministry to God be the glory. I decree, I declare again, that throughout this year and beyond, the Lord will preserve you and your home in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we are praying. Praise ye the Lord. Today is first uh, Sunday this year. By the grace of God, um, our possessing the gate of the year, today is the 10. Today is the 7th of this month of this year, 7th of January. But because we have been praying three days before the crossing over, today is the 10. And in the 10, we have the title. Prophetic declaration for the new year. Prophetic declaration for the new year. And the anchor scripture for the day is Job 22, 28 to 29. Job 22, 28 to 29. Possessing the gate of the year. Today is the day 10. Job. Let's open our Bible to Job 22. Job 22, 28, 29. Job 22, 28, 29. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto you. And the light shall shine upon your ways. The light of God shall shine upon your way. This year, when men are saying, cast it down, you shall be saying, there is lifting. When men are saying, there is cast it down, concerning you and your loved one, you shall be saying, well, there is a lifting. Can I hear you? Say, there is a lifting. Say, this year, Say there is going to be a lifting for me and my loved one. I can't hear you. Say this very year. Say the Lord is bringing me a lifting. There shall be a lifting for me and my loved one. Praise see the Lord. That is the anchor scripture for today. Day 10. And the prayer there, the first prayer said, Declare open her gates and ancient door that will bring into a deeper relationship with you and God. Say in the name of Jesus. Say gate of heaven say ancient door say ancestral door say every spiritual door that will bring me in close relationship with my god say open in the name of jesus open in the name of jesus open in the name of jesus 
in Jesus' name. The second prayer there, I say, say, I decree. I want you to say, say, I decree. I declare that this year, year 2024, shall be my year of outstanding performance. I can't hear you. Say, this year, year 2024, shall be my year of outstanding performance with significant results in the name of Jesus. Say, concerning me, concerning my loved one, Say concerning me, concerning my loved one, concerning my family. Say this very year shall be unto us, shall be unto me, shall be unto Prayer Goods Network. In the name of Jesus, a year of outstanding performance. In the name of Jesus, can you declare and declare it? Say this year, year 2024, shall be a year unto me and unto Prayer Goods Network. A year of outstanding performance in the name of Jesus. So shall he be. Say in the name of Jesus. Say this year, my hand are blessed. I shall not labor in vain. Say my hand are blessed. I shall not labor in vain. Say this year, I will engage in productive work. And my labor shall be exceedingly fruitful in the name of Jesus. Say this year. My candle, my light, we burn brightly in the name of Jesus. Say this year, my light, we burn brightly in the name of Jesus. Say this year, say I am my loved one. Say this year, say I am my family member. Say in the name of Jesus, we shall be a vessel of honor unto the lord in the name of jesus say this year say concerning me and my loved one say we shall be a vessel of honor unto the lord in the name of jesus so shall he be say i decree i declare that this year i shall be satisfied say the lord god will satisfy me in the name of jesus say all my need Say that Lord God will satisfy us in the name of Jesus. So shall he be. In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. Please, on our own, please let's make sure that we take today's prayer. I just take two or three from there. Amen. And tomorrow, which is the last one, anointing for ease. The Lord will release upon you and your family, your work, your business, your career anointed for ease in the name of jesus praise the lord and um, okay and also by the grace of god i have started it on january 1st throughout this year i want to encourage every one of us to make sure that we read the bible so i have divided the bible into 365 days 365 days so by the grace of god at the end of this year we are we make sure if you follow the pattern by the end of this year, there is no king say it will be when you look at it, you must have finished a whole Bible. Many of us will have not been able to finish a Bible at once. So I don't want to push us that oh, we are going to finish it within three months, within six months. No, let's start it and make it gradual. By next year, we may go extra mile and say we are going to read Bible two times in a year. But this year we are going to read a whole Bible from Genesis to Revelation. And I've started posting it day by day by the grace of God. Today is day seven. Uh, the, the scripture for today is Job 14. We stopped Job 13 yesterday. So today we are reading Job 14 from verse 1 to Job 16. Job 14, Job 15, Job 16. Three chapters. Job 14, Job 15, Job 16. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. I'm not, the way I put it is this. I didn't put it that we read from Genesis to Exodus, from Exodus to Number to Deuteronomy to Joshua. Eh, eh. We want to read it in a chronological form. What do that mean? We are reading it as event follows, follows each other in the Bible. From, from, from knowledge, from story, from knowledge and uh, the event of the Bible. Job came to the world before Abraham. So if we need to read the Bible,
just the way we have it. We will continue Genesis. We will read about Abraham, read about First Kings, Second, and all those things before we get to the book of Job. But I want us to read it based on how events happen. How events happen. How events happen. So Job came before Abraham. So that is why when we read first chapter, second chapter, for uh, third chapter, we see that we jump into the book of Job. Praise the Lord. We want to read the Bible as events follows each other from there. When we finish the book of Job, Amen. What is the next event that happened in the Bible? We will go to that place. If it's Genesis, we will continue. But the ultimate is this. By the grace of God, it follow the pattern we we complete one Bible this year. Again, today we are reading Job chapter 14, Job chapter 15, Job chapter 16. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. And number three for this year, I bring teaching on prayer. I want to encourage us on prayer. So every day, I have started it from January 1st. I have posted it up to yesterday. Today, by the grace of God, I'm also going to post it. And what is that? Teaching on prayer. Teaching on prayer. I, I to just give you the title, I call it daily devotion. It's not going to be devotion. Amen. I am not going to name it devotion. By the grace of God, I'm going to come with a special name for it. But the ultimate is, throughout this year, I want to teach us and encourage us in the area of prayer. I want to teach us and encourage us in prayer. So every day, I will be posting an article, I will be posting a, a teaching on prayer. I started it, the Lord will help us. So by the end of this year, you are on fire. Somebody say, I am, or I am on fire. I can't hear you. Say, I am on fire. Say, I am on fire. You will be on fire in the name of Jesus. And last, before I go into today's uh, teaching, those of us on Facebook, those of us on YouTube, I believe we have seen the title, How to be led this year by Holy Spirit. How to be led this year by Holy Spirit. But before I go into that, I quickly want to pass this. Some people ask me, I received like three mails, the pastor, what book will you recommend for me that I should read this year? I don't know which book. But when I try to look at my, my archive, I pick some books. Number one, how to plan your life. How to plan your life. How to plan your life. I have read this book when? It's a good book. I used to recommend it for people. Yes, 2008, that was the first time I read this book. How to plan your life. Amen. I believe you can all see it on the camera. Please, if you need, uh, the, the, type, the main uh, focus is you can set goals and achieve them. You can set goals and achieve them. Please check your supermarket uh, bookshop and um, get it. Number two, if you are an emotional person, the good, the bad, please, you need this book. You need this book. Deadly emotions. Let me put it before the camera so that you can all see it. Deadly emotion. Can you see it? Can you see it? Amen. It's a good book. It talk about understanding the mind, the body, and the spirit. Connection that can heal or destroy. Connection that can heal or destroy. Amen. It talk about anger. It talk about hostility. It talk about resentment. It talk about bitterness, unforgiveness, self hatred anxiety repress anger repress anger depression you talk about all of them how you can overcome them once again this is the book please if you are somebody who is given to anger you need this book if you are given to anger you need this book praise the lord and number two amen about on anger control your emotion if you are somebody like me in those days you are like me in those days, not now. To God be the glory. God has helped me. But in those days, I am a uh, hot temper. I'm not ashamed to say it. But God has worked on me and I help myself. Praise the Lord. God, because some people, God work on them, they do not help themselves. There's no way it will happen. So God helped me and I work on myself. This is one of the books that uh, I read that helped me by Bob Philip. Controlling your emotions before they control you. Controlling your emotion before they control you. Controlling your emotion before they... If you have husband, if you have wife, you have somebody who is giving to anger, any little thing, any little thing, please, I recommend this book. It's a very powerful book. Amen. 
And uh, the fourth book that I'm going to recommend today, I'm going to post this book on our reading group. By the grace of God, we are going to start reading 1st of February. 1st of February. Please, my coordinator in that group, please, you are going to help us. The Lord will strengthen you this year. The title of the book is You Can Win. I brought this book, I think, about four years ago. Am I right? Four years ago, we read this book online. Not within that group. Four years ago, online, I encourage us to read this book. Amen. By Chief Kera. This is the book. It has different, uh, uh, what do you call it? Different cover. Another cover is brown, but see the same title, the same author. We have many books on this title, You Can Win. But this particular one is by, let me put it so that I want you to see the name very well. So that when you go to a bookshop, amen, you get it. You Can Win by Shivkera. Please, let's get the book. Winners don't do different things. They do things differently. Winners don't do different things. What you do is what they do. But they do things differently. They do things in another way. Praise the Lord. So please get this book. It's going to be a powerful book. Amen. Let's read it. In our reading group, the wisdom group, we are going to read this book starting from February 1st. So by grace of God, I believe I have the soft copy. I'm going to put the soft copy there. And um, please, apart from the soft copy, if you can get, lay your hand on this book, the hard copy in any bookshop, all those uh, motivational bookshop, Christian bookshop, please, or you order from online. I'm not the author. <laughs> Praise it alone. It's a good book. Amen. When did I bought it? I used to write dates. All my, all my books. I can't find the date. Wow. I did not put dates on this one. Amen. It's a nice book. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. So those are the books that I recommend that every one of us will read this this first half of the year. Amen. Once again, we are welcome to year 2024. Today is first Sunday of the year. And uh, I want to share with us how to be led by the Holy Spirit. How to be led by the Holy Spirit. How you can be led by the Holy Spirit. How I can be led by the Holy Spirit. Spirit, praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. How to be led by somebody say by Holy Spirit. I can't hear you. Say by Holy Spirit. Say it again. Say how to be led by Holy Spirit. Say it loud and clear. Say how to be led by Holy Spirit. Amen. So I'm going to share with us how you and I can be led by Holy Spirit. Why you must be led by Holy Spirit? Why I must be led by Holy Spirit? How can we be led by Holy Spirit? And it will help us. It will help us. Praise the Lord. Galatians 4, 1 to 7. Galatians 4, 1 to 7. Galatians 4, 1 to 7. Are you there? Galatians 4, 1 to 7. What we have there, let's read it. Let's open our Bible to Galatians 4, 1 to 7. Galatians 4, 1 to 7. Praise the Lord. I hope you can hear me. If you can hear me, shout hallelujah. I can't hear you. If you are there with me, shout a louder hallelujah. Amen. Galatians 4, 1 to 7. Now I say that the heirs, as long as he is a child, different nothing from a servant. As long as he is a child, different nothing from a servant. Though he be Lord of all. If you are a child, as long as the owner, the heir, that means one that inherit the throne, as long as he's a child, the Bible says it's different from not a servant. It's just like a servant. Though he's the Lord over all, but yet yeah, because he's a child. But he's under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the father. If you are a child, you will be under tutelage. People will be teaching you, do this, do that, go this way, go that way. Until the appointed time. Even so, we, 
when we are children, we are in bondage under the element of the world. Anyone that is a child is under a particular bondage. The Bible is saying, to us, when we are a child, we are under the bondage to the world. The system of the world. What is the world saying? We move, we live, we follow the dictate of the world. It's only what the world says that we will obey. It's only the will of the world. Praise it, the Lord. He said, as long as we are, a child, we are children, we are then under the bondage or under the element of the world. But when the fullness of time was, God sent his son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we may receive the adoption of the son. Do you see now? From then, we now move from being a child to a son. The first set of people, the Bible is talking about a child, but this time around, said, they migrate, they move from being a child to being a son. You can ask me, sir, you can ask me, ma'am, what is the difference between being a child and being a son? They are two different things. They are two different things. And because you are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your heart. The spirit of the son. There's a spirit in you that makes you to behave, that makes you to do what you need to do. There's a spirit in you that will not allow you to do what you are not supposed to do. There's a spirit of lordship in you. But that spirit is not in the children. That spirit is not in the child. In a child. When you are a child, you don't have that spirit. But when you are a son, the spirit of the lordship is in you. Wherefore, thou art no more a servant. Do you see? A child, you know it started from saying, a child, as long as one is a child, is like a servant. So the Bible now says, now that you are a son, you are no more a servant, but you are a son. And if you are a son, then you are heirs of God through Christ. So I ask, what is the difference between a son and a child? Isaiah 6, Isaiah 9 for 6, Isaiah chapter 9 for 6, Isaiah chapter 9 for 6, Isaiah chapter 9 for 6. For unto us a child is born, Isaiah 9 for 6, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, a child is born. A son is given. You see the difference. Unto us a child is born. But this time around, a son is given. And what happened to the son? The Bible said, the government, the authority, the rulership, the mandate shall be upon his shoulder. Not upon the shoulder of a child. You don't give authority to a child. They will play with it. You don't give authority to a child. I remember when, when, when I just gave my life to Christ and I was, I started this journey then learning how to pray. The first revelation God gave me, the first prophecy that I received, I was praying and he said, I'm going to give you a sword. I hope you will not use the sword to destroy yourself. That was when I started uh, praise, reading Bible, studying Bible, studying the word of God. And he said, I'm going to give you a sword. I hope you will not destroy yourself with the sword. When authority is given to a child, a child did not know what the authority is. He play with it. He toy with it. Give a child a sword. He may think that it's just a walking stick. <laughs> give a child a, 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 a dang gun. He would think that maybe it's uh, something that I can just play with. But an elderly, a mature person, underline, a mature person, know the danger of sword and they will never play with it. But when a, when a, when a child sees a sword and he sees something glittering, shining, he wants to touch it, he wants to play with it. But a son, an adult, a mature person, when they see a shiny, ah, they don't want to touch it. Because you know that when you touch it, the edge, it can cut. But a child, 
we want to touch that shiny thing unknown to him or her that that shiny thing can kill Romans 8 verse 14 what is the difference between a child and a son I do not forget the title how to be led by the spirit Romans 8 14 Romans 8 14 For as many as are led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. What is the difference between a child and a son? As many that are led by the Spirit, they are what? They are the sons of God, not the children of God, not the child of God. So there is difference. It's not an error there. Children can play anyhow. Children can go anywhere. Children can go and click to a visitor. Children can see somebody and just hold on to them and be crying that I want to go with them. That is children. They don't know that something is good or something is bad. No, they are children. Their mind is playing. Somebody that the parent will be running away from. A child, a small child, we see that person and will be crying, carry me, carry me, carry me. <laughs> but the father and the mother will be running away from that person. That is a child. But here, the Bible says, for as many are led, the only condition that makes you, that distinguishes you from being a son or a child is as many that are led by the Spirit of God. If you are led by the Spirit of God, in your ways this year, in your act this year, in your marriage this year, in your business this year, Everything that concerns you this year, if you are led by the Spirit of God, then, hear me, sir, hear me, man. Who are you then? You are a son of God. I'm not saying it is wrong to be a child. But from the first scripture of Galatians that we read, a child is not qualified to inherit the blessing of his father. Yes, the blessing belongs to him, but they will not give it to him because he see a child. If we should give the blessing to a child, that child will destroy it. That child will destroy it. That child will destroy it. Until the appointed time when he mature, many people wear their blessing. It's not the enemy that is attacking them. It's God himself that delayed their blessing. Why? Because in the spirit realm, they are still a baby. And as long as you are a child, there are some things that God will never give you. He said, I'm going to give you a sword. I hope you will not destroy yourself with that sword. In those days, before anything, I pick offense, I pick anger, I talk anyhow, I get angry. Now that I have children, now that I have wife, I should be getting angry. When you talk to me, any I'll do those things, I'll give it back to you. You step on my leg, I will give it back to you. You look at me, any I'll give it back to you. Ha! Ah, so I should be doing the same thing now. <laughs> I have wife. I have children. And by the grace of God, I have people who love me. Who love what God placed in my hand. And they cherish it. They follow it. So I should not be angry. <laughs> One of my sisters, she's online. I have seen that message you now. One day, she, she was asking questions. Asking some questions. In those days, when you ask two or three questions, ah, Madam, you are disturbing me. But for only God knows how many minutes, she keep asking questions, and I will take time to explain to her on WhatsApp. She will send another question. I will take time to explain. And she will ask again. I will take time to explain. I did not say, ah, Madam, you are an adult. Why are you asking this silly question? No, she wants to learn. So it took me time. And I think after all, the second day, yes, the second or the third day, she now sent a message. Pastor, I was surprised how patiently <laughs> you answer all my questions and you flow yesterday or two days ago. I just laugh. I'm not the one. I'm not the one. The difference between a child and a son, a child is not qualified to inherit the property of his father. But a son upon his shoulder shall be what? 
shall be the authority. The authority. The throne. But the Bible said, what makes you a son is you are being led by the Spirit of God. If you are not led in everything you do, if you are not led by the Spirit of God, you are, you are just a child. And a child is not different from a servant. Hello, sir. Are you, hello, ma. Are you a servant or are you a son? Are you a servant or are you a son? John 1, verse 12. John 1, verse 12. John chapter 1, verse 12. John chapter 1, verse 12. John chapter 1, verse 12. But as many as receive him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God. Do you see? He gave them power to become the sons of God. He gave them power to become the sons of God. Indirectly. What is the meaning? It is only the sons of God that have power, that receive power and authority. If you are a child, you will not receive authority because you may use authority to injure yourself. Only a son are being given, only upon the shoulder of a son that will place the authority. Are you a son or are you a child? Are you being led by the spirit of the living God? Or you are being led by things that go on around you? Or by your mentality? Or by what people are saying? Here, Mr. Yama, a son is not by age. Sonship is not measured by age. Or don't you know I am 50 years old? Don't you know I am 70 years old? Don't you know I am 100 years old? No, sir. No, ma. Sonship is not measured by age. Sonship is measured by by just one statement led by the spirit of God in everything you do this year are you going to be led by the spirit of God or you are going to be led by what people are saying or what you are seeing or the worldly system who is going to lead you this year who is going to lead you this year is it me or Elua, your pastor that is going to lead you if I'm the one to lead you there's an error he didn't say he shall be led by the apostle. He said, those that will be led by the spirit of God. A sister very close to us. A sister very close to my family. I know she will be online. She will just be laughing and say, this, this boy. God gave her a ministry to be praying for two sets of people. Those who are single and those who are married but they are believing God for fruit of the womb. She started it. And before you know it, her friend will be coming to her house once in a week, they will be praying together. And before you know it, God started working. It's not by age. It's by authority that God has given you. Responsibility. She started doing it. And God started answering all the friends. And those friends, they started calling others. One day, the pastor of our church, Odena, I think I said, is it as a deacon as a pastor? My wife, as a pastor. Or they ordain her as a pastor. I don't want to mention her name. <laughs> when they ordain her, and they came some 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 uh, condition, you are ordained in this church. You have any other thing you are doing? You have to stop them. You have other ministry. You have other spiritual assignments. You have to stop them. You have to focus on the church own. That was how she stopped that one. Ha! Ah, I, I abused her. I fought her. You cannot stop. This mandate is God's mandate for you. He said, already leave me. In my church, they have ordained me. And uh, whatever you are doing, you have to suspend it. Or you bring it to church and let it be church home. You have to focus on church. I said, no. No. The mandate you have is from God. The ordination is for you to help your pastor. So there are two different things. Doing that work doesn't stop you working as a church. He said, leave me alone. I said, okay, no problem. But I want you. Today, sir, today, ma, she's no longer in that church. Today, she's no longer in that church. I don't, if as you begin to talk about her, why she left the church, you will pity her, you will sorry for her. But the, the, the body is this. What about the assignment God gave her that she left? The assignment is no longer there for her. The assignment has been given to another person. Ha, there are thousands of people that are waiting on kill. If God should give you something to do and you, you, you disobey, there are thousands of people that will take that particular assignment. 
and they will do it well. They will even do it well better than you. As many that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God, and only the sons of God will inherit the blessings of God. Their general blessing, their special blessing, their general blessing like rain. Either you are good, you are bad, either you are Christian, either you are unbeliever, you receive the blessing of the sun, you receive the blessing. When the sun is shining, you enjoy it. When it is snow, you enjoy it. When it is raining, either you are Christian, either you are believer, or you are even idol worshiper, you will enjoy the rain. General. But there are some peculiar, there are some special blessings that are meant for the believers. The authority of God is only the Son. It's only those who are led. Hello, Siloma. Are you led? Are you proposed this year to be led by the Spirit of God? Let me quickly share. It's not something that we can hear today. Let me quickly share some of the advantage of being led by the Spirit of God. Number one, the Holy Spirit makes us a new man in Christ. I've talked about myself. Little thing will provoke my anger. Little thing I will be angry. But when I submit myself unto God, He makes me another man. Romans 8, verse 10, 1 Samuel 10, 9 to 12. He makes me another man. When I see people now, Ah, hallelujah, it's always uh, that but that person is always smiling, it's always ah is this is that ah, I just laugh and within me I said to God be the glory. <laughs> my brother, my own brother, said one day, he said, I've tested you, and the spirit of God is in you. And I look at him. How do you know who carried the spirit of God? Do you have the scale? I said, Sir, how do you know? Oh, he said there was a time. Any little thing, I begin to provoke you. I begin to get. He said, "I just want you to get angry. When you get angry, you say some nasty thing." I said, eh. "He said, but instead of you to get angry, you be saying sorry, sir." He said, "I'm the one to tell you sorry because I'm the one that I annoy you. I'm the one that gets you angry. I'm the one that has done something wrong. But instead of you, instead of me to tell you sorry, you be saying, ah, sorry, sir. Emma Binu, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. I don't be angry. Don't be annoyed. <laughs> Praise the Lord." He said, after I've done that for a time period, and you continue that way, he said, I know that the Spirit of God is in you. When you are with the Spirit of God, you don't get angry unnecessarily. You don't just get provoked. And I look at myself. I said, what about if I have showed this man some <laughs> praise in the Lord? When you are with the Spirit of God, it makes you another man. Number two, When you are being led by the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God help you, direct you to make a sound decision. When you are to make this decision, the Holy Spirit will help you to make a sound, to make a right decision, a right decision, a right decision. When you are being led by the Spirit, but if you are not led by the Spirit, you don't take decision that people, any decision that comes your way, you run with it. Any decision that comes your way, you run with it. Whatever people say is good, you go by it. But if you are led by the Spirit of God, what happens? He will help you. He will direct you to make a sound and right decision. Why? Because you are led by the Spirit of God. This year, this year, sir, this year, man, your marriage, your business, your career, who is going to lead you? Who is going to make you to take that decision? Today is January now. Tomorrow is Monday. Everybody resume fully back to work. Everybody is Take decision about that world. How are you going to take decision by the leading of the spirit or by what people are saying around you or what you see? You are planning to go into this new year again. You are starting afresh. Sam, have you been led by what people are saying or by what by the leading of the spirit? What the spirit is saying. When you are being led by the spirit, it helps you to take the right decision, which I love. Holy Spirit cannot help you to take a right decision and you have issue there tomorrow. No, you can never have issue there. You can never have issue there. You can never have issue. Every day of life, we are bombarded with all manners of issue. And we need to take, sometimes we need to take drastic decisions. It's only who are led by the Spirit of God that can take the right decision. Number next, Philippians 2 verse 13. Philippians 2 verse 13. 
when you are being led by the Holy Spirit, He will do what? He will work in you to do the will of God and His pleasure. When you are being led by the Lord, He will work in you to do the will of God and the pleasure of God. The will of God, the pleasure of God. A woman three years ago, a woman, a sister, we met and we are talking, I asked her, in all this matter, what is the will of God? Before we can say anything, what is the will of God? Before we can pray, what is the will of God, man? He said, Pastor, you see that will of God? Let's not talk about it. I said, ah, if you don't talk about the will of God, that means you don't know. We need to pray about it. The moment she said, we should not talk about it, I know. But I won't use my mouth to open up. I said, we need to talk about it. If you don't know, say I don't know, so that we, I will ask you to go and pray about it. And he said, what happened is this. That will of God is something I don't like. That will of God is something I don't want. <laughs> I now laugh. I said, I know. The will of God for your life, you don't want it. You know what God is saying, but you don't want to do it. You have your own way. You should have the spirit of God in you. If the spirit of God is the one leading you. Hear me, sir. Hear me. No matter what God asks you to do, the spirit will work in you. We help you to do it. To do the pleasure of God. Coming online, I try to run away from it. But because of the spirit, I have no choice than to come and do the will of God. And thank you today. Thank you, Jesus, for today. I never regret taking it. I never regret obeying him to do online ministry. No, no, no. I don't regret it. I don't regret it. I keep telling myself, almost over, over 15, 17 years ago, if I had known, when he said I should start it then, that I tried to run away, I will just jump into it. When Holy Spirit is in you, it makes our prayer more effective. Romans 8, 26 to 28. We don't know what to do. We don't know what to pray because we don't know the source of the problem. But Holy Spirit, pray in us. Holy Spirit knows the source of that problem. So what will happen? Holy Spirit will now pray through you in groaning, in traveling. Holy Spirit is the one to reveal the source. Is the one to reveal what you need to do. If it diagnose the problem, the source of the problem, and what you need to do, and it will tell you, pray this way. And when you pray it, you have results. So, Holy Spirit, when Holy Spirit is leading you, He make our prayer more effective. More effective. That's why those who are close to me, when there is an issue, I don't allow them to speak first. Before you say anything, I say, let us pray. Oh, Lord. Because by the time you table all the emotional thing, I'm a man. I'm a man of emotion. So, but before you, you, before you build on my, that my emotion, ah, don't worry, let us pray first. Our Lord, our God, I want to say thank you for your daughter. Thank you for our family. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. And it flow. And I know the will of God. So after that, I said, Ma, so what is it? I just want to hear you. So that you say, you didn't even hear me. I already know the will of God. So after you have talked, I will now tell you the will of God. Why not let us do it this way? Why not let us do it this way? What about if this is what God is saying? Also, I tell you, why not let's go do it this way? I perceive this is what God is saying. I can see this. I can see that. So, it may, when I'm praying for you at that time, I pray based on revelation. I pray based on the leading of the Holy Spirit. And if the Holy Spirit is the one that leads me, there will be result. There will be result. There will be result. I was praying, um, those of us, during the end of the year, you see that the majority of my prayer is, I will end well. Uh, last minute result, last minute testimony, this year shall end well, last minute breakthrough, last minute. Because I have other prayer that I want to pray, but Holy Spirit was saying I should continue that prayer. I should continue that prayer. I should continue that prayer. And what happened? On the 29th, a family who have lost hope that any money can come in. December 29th, according to the testi testimony of the family, a company that holds them a lot of money sometimes ago that they don't even believe that can pay that, uh, the family said on the 29th on December 29th two days before the closing of the year they called them and they paid them he made the prayer to be sweet I shall hand well when they pray that I shall hand well so tell me 
Did they hang well? They hang well. The year hang well with them. I pray for every one of you. This year shall be full of testimony in your life in the name of Jesus. Hear this. When the Holy Spirit is leading you, He enables you to produce fruit of the Spirit. Fruit of the Spirit. There is even between fruit of the Spirit and gift of the Spirit. What I'm using now as a teacher, the teaching gift. That is gift. Oh, I see. Can I prophesy? Amen. I see. Prophesy. Those are gifts. Gift of the Spirit. There is even between gift and and fruit of the spirit. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. If you if you stay on gift and you don't develop the fruit, may one not go to hell. Gift, the gift of Holy Spirit, the gift of Holy Spirit. If not man with the fruit of the Holy Spirit, can lead one into error, can lead one into destruction, can lead one into witchcraft, can lead one into occultism. The gift of Holy Spirit. When you begin to manifest gift, gift is sweet. You close your eyes, you begin to see revelation. You open your eyes, you begin to see revelation. That is the gift of revelation. The gift of prophecy. The sending of spirit. Ha! If you are not careful, that man will enter into error. Because the spirit of lies will come in. That's why you see a prophet will tell us, bring uh, 10 coconuts. Ten fowl, ten chicken. <laughs> Praise it the Lord. But to balance it, you need to develop the fruit of the Spirit. When you develop that fruit, it's what will help us. It is what will help us. Number six. The Holy Spirit is a great friend. I'm going to stop here today. The Holy Spirit, when you are being led by the Spirit, I'm talking about the advantage of being led by the Spirit today. Because of our time. When you are being led by the Spirit, He reveals Himself to you as a great friend and a great teacher. A great friend and a great teacher. What is the meaning? A friend never, a great friend, not just talking about a friend on the road. A great friend and a great teacher. A great friend always stands by their friend. Even in time of trouble, a great friend always stands by their friend. And a great teacher will always reveal the secret of everything to their student. John 14, 26. John 14, 26. John 14, 26. Let's open our Bible to the book of John 14, 26. I will stop here today. John 14, 26. But the comforter, the teacher, which is the Holy Ghost, another name for Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. The Comforter, the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, shall do what? Shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said. When you are being led by Holy Spirit, he will teach you all things you need to know this year. Did you hear me? When you are being led by Holy Spirit, He will teach you all things you need to know this year. All things you need to know about your work. All things you need to know about your business. All things you need to know about your career. You're going out and you're coming in. Everything you need to know. He will teach you all things. 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 What are the things that you need to know? about your business as everybody resume fully back to business tomorrow monday what are the things that you need to know what are the things that you need to know about your partner what are the things that you need to know about your children their school what are the things that you need to know hear me sir hear me man we you are being led by the spirit he will reveal everything to you he will teach you everything when you are being led by the spirit he will hold your hand and walk you through the journey of life. When you are being led by the Spirit of God, He will do what? He will hold your hand and walk you through the journey of life. You are being led by the Holy Spirit. He will hold your hand and walk you through the journey. Through the journey. He will direct your way. He will lighten up your path. He will direct your way. He will lighten up your path. 
I'm going to stop here today. Continue next week if the coming of the Lord tarry. Sir, Amma, are you a son of God or are you still a child? Are you a son of God or are you a child of God? The two are good. To be a child of God is good. To be a son of God is good. But one have advantage over the other. Are you a child of God, my brother? Or are you still a child? Or are you a son? If you are a child of God, there is must be responsibility on you. The authority will be given to you. You have right to the throne of God. Are you a child of God? Or are you have you migrated to be a son of God? I encourage us this year. Today is first Sunday of the year. Please, uh, please, man, anything you will do this year, make sure that you are being led by the Spirit of God, not by what men are saying. When you are led by the Spirit of God, you can never, never run into error. You can never, never run into heresies. But if you are led by the Spirit of men, if you are led by what men are saying, if you are led by what is going on around you, ah, may we not cry, may we not weep. How many years now? About five years ago, where I work, I have the mandate that I should stop and go and start the online that I have asked you to do. I write, I won't forget, this was the month of August. I wrote my letter of resignation. I did not tell my wife. I typed the letter of resignation over the night. I pray over it. I am sure that the Lord God has asked me to move ahead. I did not tell my wife. I just carried the letter. Throughout the night, I was praying. I was crying unto God. The following day, I was about to go and submit it. But I just asked myself, let me, let me ask somebody. <laughs> let me ask somebody. When God asks you to do something, let you ask somebody. And I called one of my brothers. I said, sir, this is it. He said, I hope you have not submitted the letter. I said, no. He said, don't submit it. Have you prayed about it? I said, yes. Where is God taking you to? I said, I don't know. He said, no, you must know. Because if you don't know, there will be a problem. You must know. So don't submit the letter. Go and be praying until God show you where you are going before you go and submit it. I told the letter. That year, ah, I suffered ridicule. I suffered shame. I suffered regret. August, the day I refused to submit the letter, starting from that day to the end of that year, August, September, October, November, December, four months was like hell unto me. Four months. Like hell. I saw that shame. I saw that ridicule. I saw that setback. Mention it. Why? Because I was not, I, because I did not allow Holy Spirit to lead me fully. I take the counsel of men until the following January 1st. I said, bye bye. Here am I, O Lord. And I said, this is what you will do. Is there in the Bible? He said, Abraham, Abraham, leave your father, leave your mother, leave your family, leave your sibling until the land I will show you. Abraham, Abraham did not know where he was going. God did not tell Abraham where he's taking him to. God did not tell him where he's taking him to. God did not tell him. God did not tell him. May the Lord God help us in the name of Jesus. Please, let's follow God. Let's obey him. Whatever God asks us to do this year, let's do it. And it shall be well with us in the name of Jesus. I pray for every one of us who are online, who are, who are hearing me. I pray for every one of us. I pray for you. I pray for your home. I pray for your marriage. I pray for your business. I pray for your career. May the Lord God lead you this year in the name of Jesus. May the Spirit of God lead you in the name of Jesus. May the way, may your way be brightened in the name of Jesus. The Spirit of the Living God, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, the Great Friend, the Great Teacher, may He lead you and lead you in the ways of God this year in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. As you go this year, may the light of God shine on your way in the name of Jesus. May the Lord God lighten your path in the name of Jesus. I pray for you this year. As you go into this year, in your way, not your ways. Your marriage, your business, your career, in everything that concerns you, may the Spirit of the living God hold your hand and walk you through the journey of life in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man, this year. If you have left the star, if you have left the star, 
that is leading you. May God reposition you. May God reposition you. May God reorder yourself in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, the great teacher. May he teach you. May he reveal everything that you need to know in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, the great teacher. May he teach you all that you need to know about this year in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, the great revealer. May he reveal unto you all that you need to know this year in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, where you need to be, what you need to do, may God reveal them to you in the name of Jesus. This year you will not walk in darkness. This year you will not walk in dark darkness. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. Isaiah 56, verse 10. In the name of Jesus, according to Isaiah 56, verse 10, you shall not be a blind, a deaf, and a dumb watchman in the name of Jesus. A blind man cannot see if things is green or right, if things is good or bad. A dumb man cannot talk. A deaf cannot hear. Even when you are calling him to come and take blessing, he will not hear. This year, I pray for you, sir. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you, man. In the name of Jesus, you shall not be a blind person in the name of Jesus. Spiritually, you will not be blind. Spiritually, you will not be deaf. Spiritually, you will not be dumb. In the name of Jesus. This year, Holy Spirit will lead you. This year, Holy Spirit will guide you. This year, Holy Spirit will lighten your path. In the name of Jesus. So shall he be. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise ye the Lord. By the grace of God, if you come of the Lord, Harry, we continue next week. The Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Once again, my name is Ariel Laure. You are the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry. May God bless you. May God increase you. May God enlarge your course in the name of Jesus. Every one of you that partner with us, with your seed, with your time, with your offering, this year may be a year of your remembrance for good in the name of Jesus. May your seed, may your offering, may your time, may it provoke heavenly assistance in the name of Jesus. May book of remembrance for good open unto you. May God remember you. May God favor you. May God say to you, in the name of Jesus, the sacrifice of Noah provoke heaven for blessing. I pray for every one of you. The seed, the offering that you are sent to this ministry, may it provoke divine heaven, may it provoke heaven for divine blessing upon you, upon your home, upon your marriage, upon your business, upon your career, in the name of Jesus. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Dear father, mother, uncle, auntie, married, single, boy, girl, man, woman, brother, sister, and friend, you and I will one day leave this world and our spirit will appear on the other side. Will you be allowed to enter heaven? The only way to enter heaven is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and walk in righteousness. If you have not given your life to Jesus or you once did and you backslid it, you started living in sin, please say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I believe in my heart that you died for me and on the third day you rose again that I might be free from sin. Right now, I confess you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me my sins and wash me with your blood. Make me your child and write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Sin and Satan has no more power over my life. In Jesus' mighty name, it's a new day. Amen and amen. God bless you.